Well, okay, today's adventure involves taking a very interesting road to a little French town named Sospel, where we're going to climb a mountain and see what we can find on top. So, let the adventure begin. Well, for my motorcycling friends, I wanted to show you the road that we're on to Sospel, France, about a half an hour or an hour east of Nice. Lots of hairpin turns, just the kind of thing motorcyclists love. Pretty country. So here's a very nice little town of Sospel, about an hour from Nice. Medieval bridge with the toll collector's tower. Nice countryside, but I think we ought to go for a hike. Let's see what's on top of that mountain. Well, if you're out for a nice hike in the French countryside and you're close to the Italian border and you come across something like this, you can be pretty sure that this mountain is more than it seems. Odds are it's part of the Maginot Line. Let's find out. Well, today I've hiked to the top of a hill above the village of Sospel, S-O-S-P-E-L, in France. And this looks like such a nice, peaceful place. And right now it is. But it wasn't always. Because right over there is Italy. So during World War II, the French were very concerned that Mussolini would launch an attack from that side of the border. And so what appears to be just a nice peaceful mountain is actually a massive fortification. Now this I'm looking at now is a another part of the Maginot Line. And again, it looks just like a nice little hilltop, except that that is honeycombed with tunnels and gun emplacements. As is this, which again, just looks like an innocent mountain. But wait till you see what's inside. So yeah, this is a nice shady spot for a picnic. Unless you're an advancing Italian army. Now I've never thought of the French is being particularly industrious. But I've changed my mind because in the 1930s, somehow they got together the manpower and the willpower to construct this impressive line of defenses, the Maginot Line. And although the entry to this particular complex is sealed, I went into a very similar one, also a part of the Maginot Line at St. Well, in English, St. Agnes. And so I know what's in there. And it's networks of tunnels and, uh, you know, kitchen, electric generators. It is designed so that it can get by for three months without any contact with the outside world. The air vents are sealed off. There are carbon filters that uh, give it a constant supply of fresh air in case of gas attack by enemies. And food supplies, everything's in there, even a theater. And if you happened to think you could get your Italian troops right up here, well, you face this moat, which doesn't look like that big a deal, except these little openings in the walls are where the guys inside would drop hand grenades down upon you as you made your way into the moat. So yeah, pretty hard to uh, pretty hard to tackle this. 
and again, except, except for looking right here at where the gun emplacements are, you really wouldn't know it. So anytime I see a road zigzagging up a mountain in the distance there, chances are good that it leads to a military encampment. Certainly been a nice hike getting up here. So if you're on lookout duty, you're looking out of this window in a turret, and look, you've been shot at. I don't know what kind of artillery round would make that kind of dent, but I assure you this, this is solid. Although this is not a gun position, this is just a lookout. There's a gun position. Now it doesn't look like much, but the whole turret raises up. It mechanically lifts and swivels around so that when it's closed off, like right now, um, you, you can't get in there at all. And here are the air vents. Again, these are solid. So you're not going to be dropping any hand grenades down there because they seal off so that inside the air is all controlled and filtered. And you can see whoever was on duty here also got shot at. Still marks remaining. And what seems to be just a hilltop is actually completely constructed. It's honeycombed with tunnels throughout. Now I won't be able to show you with this video, but with my powerful binoculars, I could see even maybe you can barely make out a building up there on the hill. Up on the highest hills, there are entire emplacements like this. So just think of what resources went into defending this country against the possible attack from Italy. Well, as much as I'd like to explore more of the Maginot Line, I'm thinking this would be a good time to head down to Sospel and see if they have a cold beer for me. Well, good thing we went up that mountain when we did, because visibility's dropping pretty badly up there. Wouldn't have much of a view now. However, here is that other Maginot Line Fort, Saint Roche, that we could see. That's where we were, looking across at this one. 